What is up guys, Technicals here. It's time for the weekend switch up where I switch my CPUs, GPUs, and maybe ASICs onto something new. I do this every single week. So if you wanna follow along in this process week to week, subscribe to the channel, like this video, do all those kind of things to help me grow. I'd love to know how you decide or what you're doing. So comment below what you're mining this week, what coin you're chasing, if you're staying on certain coins, if you're moving on to others, are you into the coin du jour? So let's go to the land of make-believe and get right into it. All right, so if you're new to the channel, every single week I switch everything up and there's a few key places that I check every single week to see if maybe there's some new coins to jump on. Aside from the, the weekly Twitter trolling and you know whatever news comes out, for instance, Cedra coin, completely off my radar. Been busy building the new mining shed within a shed, uh, which I completed last week. I'm just doing some finishing touches now. But Cedra, completely off my radar. And then this past week it launched or something, and then everybody made a, a boatload of money, except for me, of course. It's a par for the course at this point. Uh, but I do like to check Bitcoin talk. I do this every single day, the announcements section. Uh, looking through here, I already looked, nothing really good. Uh, if you check this, uh, you can look for POW coins, proof of work coins. You know, maybe there's something on there, a new Kapow coin or something like that that you can jump on right away. Uh, there was a new CPU coin I noticed launched on our plant, my favorite shitcoin mining pool, uh, Waifu, which, uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a neckbeard coin of some sort, some kind of meme coin or something, uh, but it was announced on our plant at about almost 10 hours ago. So. Uh, the network hash rate jumping up a bit because other people know that our plant has the hot and tasty fresh new shit coins. Uh, currently 200 miners on waifu right now, so maybe something you'd be interested in. But for me, I'm, uh, I'm, I, I just got in too late. I don't have enough power to really make anything of it. Sure, I could mine it for a day or two and make like $2, but you know, at this point, I'd rather just uh, look around and see if I can chase something with a little more legs. Checking over on Minerstat, biggest hash rate losers, Litecoin. That's a got to be an error of some kind because uh, Litecoin didn't lose 100% of its network hash rate. Or maybe it did. I'm not looking into the, the, the data behind that. Hash rate gainers here, um, don't recognize any of these. I just checked this site. It's part of the part of the flow of uh, my process here. Ultimately, we always end up on Mining pool stats .stream. So taking a look at new pr proof of work coins uh, over here. Uh, so AI power meme, the newest, but on this list, if you're familiar with this list, you know that sometimes coins will pop up below or above. Uh, it's not really in chronological order like this. It's on X11 though, so it's not uh, not subject to mining for us. Cedra coins on there, of course. Uh, Voltaic, we did a short video on that uh, a couple weeks ago at this point. And the next most recent Bitcoin 69 uh, Smarty Coin, we did a video on those as well. So uh, we're gonna close out of that. Nothing new there. And here's the main list. This is where we all ultimately where we arrive on every single week. So we're gonna sort the difficulty by ascending. If I can get my big fat head out of the way, then maybe I can. Uh, maybe you guys can see what I'm looking at. So I'm just gonna focus on everything uh, from here up. So. Sorting by ascending, we don't get any data till about page five or six. And so we're over here now we can take, start taking a look at uh, what lost a lot of hash rate to increase our yield because we only have three, I only have three GPUs currently. I hope to expand here in the future. I'm predominantly ASIC right now, uh, but we want to get the, is most, the most yield as possible. So we're looking at stuff that had a big network drop. So once we get into this data here, then I start looking at the volume because it doesn't make sense to mine something if I can't sell it. If there's no activity on it, then what am I even doing? So moving through, uh, Trollcoin lost a lot of hash rate. It's on script though. I do have a script miner now. I'm an L7 now, so I could jump on Trollcoin, but I'm not because I want the Doge. I want the Doge right now. Here's a good one, AI Power Grid. It's kind of been a darling coin for GPU miners for a while because it's on Kapow. Uh, but showing a 30% drop in its network hash rate uh, coinciding with a 30% drop in its total price, but still about a half a million dollars in volume. So we're gonna add AI Power Grid to our maybe list uh, for switching our GPUs to. This is interesting, F Society on Ghost Rider. Um, I've seen this here and there. I don't really hear anyone talking about it or uh, actually mining it, but 25% drop in its net hash. It's got about $18,000 in volume, which is pretty good, and the price is uh, plus 2%. So. You know, maybe it's just uh, no one noticed it, but it's a good candidate for our CPU mining rigs. So we're gonna put that on the maybe list, F Society for CPUs. Narai, the one that kind of a lot of, I see a lot of people default to. I default to Narai when, uh, when I can't think of anything else to mine. 
Um, just under a million bucks in volume, 12% drop in net hash, 4% appreciation in price. So maybe Narai, just throw everything back on Narai and just keep going on there. I'm not sure. Raptorium, another candidate for CPU miners, 12% uh, drop in net hash, 22,000 in volume, and 16% hike in price. So again, what's going on there? It's kind of a, a, a mitch, mismatch of uh, the difficulty going down and the price going up. All right, now I'm starting to get into stuff where it's only had about a 10% drop, but what I was really interested in is Neoxa because this past week, courtesy of Chump Change, thank you, uh, he turned me on to iNodes. So appreciate Chump Change for turning me on to this. I saw it in one of his videos and uh, I had used a shared masternode service back in 2018. Uh, this is what this is, but they only do a few different coins. They do Raptorium, Fero, Neoxa, and Block X. And so this past week, I did set up an account and onboard my total Neoxa that I had mined thus far because it's paying you out. Uh, they put your coins into a, a smart node, master node, whatever you know these coins call their version of a master node. And so you take a share of the rewards based on how much you onboard into that. You have to send all your coins to inodes, super risky. Do you trust inodes or not? For me, it's like a few dollars. I, you know, it, inodes has been around for a while. I kind of looked into it. They've been doing this for a while. Other tubers use it. So at least if they rug pull, everybody gets fucked, right? So I sent all that over, uh, all my collateral for Neoxa and Raptorium over there because it's not a lot. And so I'm thinking this week, I want to mine Neoxa directly. I want to check Neoxa's, Neoxa's uh, difficulty, if they've had a, any sort of a drop. It looks like and it's kind of flat based on where it was. Their price is kind of doing this a little bit. But am I getting a lot? No. Am I getting a high yield um, somewhat on a six month time basis? But this is the mental gymnastics that I'm going through. If I'm about the yield, mining Neoxa and putting in inodes is going to give me better yield. So I think that's what I want to do. I'm gonna go ahead and switch my GPUs over to Neoxa. Further to that, I'm gonna put my CPUs on Neoxa as well. How are you doing that, technicals? I'm using Unminable. Sure, the fees are high on Unminable. This past week, I did a comparison, nice hash versus Unminable. Videos have to come out, uh, but Unminable fees, they take a bite out of you. So if you're unfamiliar with Unminable, it's where you can point your CPUs, GPUs, to a coin that is the most profitable and you choose which coin you get paid out in based on what coins they have available on Unminable. If you're interested in using it, see the description below. I have a referral code and that makes your mining cheaper if you use my referral code. That's crazy, right? That's why you should do it. So I went ahead and switched my CPU mining rigs over to Unminable, my 7950X3D, my 7900X, and my 5900X. So if you take a look here, it's a beautiful thing. And my 5900, all, everything's on the Oxa, so. The three CPUs using Unminable, they're mining uh, uh, Random X and getting paid out in Neoxa, and my GPUs mining Neoxa directly, both pointed at the onboarding address for inodes. So that's gonna hopefully increase my yield, uh, give me some more Neoxa because I like the fact that I'm getting a, you know master node rewards on top of the direct mining. In the future, what we might do is point our ASICs at Unminable and just get a whole shitload of Neoxa because right now I've got the S21, two S19J Pros and a new L7 that's online and the KSO Pro. So I'm ASIC heavy. Uh, that would be a significant amount of Neoxa every day. And I'm not, I think it's about, uh, right now it costs about to run your own smart node. It's a million Neoxa, which I think comes out to about $3,000. I'm not gonna be able to mine that amount. And I'm not putting three grand into Neoxa, but um, every little bit helps. So I'm gonna throw the farm this week on to uh, Neoxa by proxy of Unminable on my CPU miners. Have you used Unminable at all, or do you, will you consider using it in the future? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you have a good experience, bad experience? Do you prefer nice hash? I like nice hash. The interface is fantastic for an idiot like me. Uh, let me know what you guys do in the comments below. Or is there a coin I completely missed? Comment, tag me on Twitter. I'm at the technicals on Twitter. If a hot new coin comes up, be sure to let me know because I need to get on it right away to make some money. Be sure to subscribe. I do this every single week. If you're interested in how, this process and how I go through it, again, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the new subscribers coming in. If there's anything you wanna see, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I'm The Technicals. See you next time.